uh, John Volpe was, um, he came over in 1900 and he came over um, with a family from St. Louis by the name of Beffa. They were, it was a Swiss family that, uh, that was traveling to Milano because uh, um, John Volpe was working in Milano. So they met and they said, you know, uh, John, we need, in St. Louis, we need someone that knows how to make salami because they have so much, they had so much raw material, they had so many pigs. So we had a whole lot of pork and, and nobody's making any good salami. Exactly. And then he started making a sausage for this family and then for friends and then for, uh, and, and that's how it all and started. So that's how it began. So and that's how it began. Uh, Volpi makes uh, all the Italian um, dry sausage and fresh sausage. The fresh sausage is the one that you eat fresh. Mm -hmm. And the dry sausage is the one that you age mm -hmm. and that you, um, that you eat after so many days. And this so is our salami. That's salami. Salami was, uh, was, uh, was made many, many years ago because people didn't have any way of keeping meat. Mm -hmm. So they used to, they grind it and, and season it and s make salami so that they could have meat uh, all, all year long. Right, and you could travel with it. And you could travel with it. Without refrigeration. Without refrigeration. So walk us through, when we come in, so you, when, when... First you chill everything. Very cold. And what, pro what are you using? You're using shoulder, you're using... We use shoulder, we use uh, lean, lean pork, mm -hmm. and then we use... Um, uh, Pancetta, the bacon, mm -hmm. the, uh, the green bacon, green bellies it's called. Mm -hmm. We can use that because you have to have lean mm -hmm. and fat. So we have to, uh, we have to inspect it uh, before we chill it. Yes. After it's chilled, uh, we, we grind it mm -hmm. and then we add the, the seasoning and the salt and the sugar and whatever in the mixer as it mixes. Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's stuffed uh, with aromatic stuff. Uh, What happens next then it's, uh, it's uh, fermented because salami is a fermented product. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what does the fermentation do? Why do you ferment it? To, uh, to, um, to drop the acidity? To, to drop the acidity, to, to, uh, to lose all the, all the moisture that's in the meat it's because the meat contains a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So it, because salami, it, uh, it's a dry product, so there is no water. There is no, there is no well, more water. Well, without water, we can't have bacteria growing. Exactly. Right? Okay. Now, does the fermentation do anything for the flavor, or is it just to? Get well, it, it also helps the flavor. Okay. After, after the fermentation, then it's put in the in an aging room, mm -hmm. and aged uh, so many days according to the caliber of the casing. The small one, the salamini, they're, they're aged uh, much shorter than the Genoa. Mm -hmm. Which is a wider. Which is a wider, yeah. Wider love. So then, so, naturally, it would just take right. longer to do that. After uh, during the process of aging, there is a, a mold forms on the outside. Yeah, we saw that. And a lot of people might not understand. Mold is important in the food world, yes. is it not? I mean, if I see mold on the outside of my salami, I'm not supposed to throw that out, huh? No. <laughs> no. Please don't do that. <laughs> But, What's uh, going on there? Okay, in Italy, in Italy, they they sell it with the mold on. In San Francisco, they sell salami with the mold on. They don't wash it. Okay. But the mold is very important because it also gives the flavor to, uh, to the salami. So it's a good kind of mold. It's a good kind of mold. Yes. yes. Same thing and, it, like and it keeps the exterior moist, the casing moist. It keeps it keeps the exteriors from drying too much. And, and drying just as, uh, just as fast as the interior too, you know, because if you dry the exteriors too fast, the interior won't, uh, won't breathe because salami is a, is a sausage that has to breathe. Yeah. And so what we have in that drying, aging process is the moisture is traveling from the interior out, out to through the, the casing. Through the casing. And that's why how we get our That's mold. how you get the mold. Okay, and the mold is protecting our casing. It's really a perfect process. And then it, the mold is washed off and, and then packaged. Most of it is packaged, uh, vacuum pack. Mm -hmm.
also make prosciutto. Prosciutto. But first of all, prosciutto has to be salted. What do you start with? With, uh, what piece with the paper? fresh ham mm -hmm. and salt. Okay. And, uh, and uh, by salting it, you have to rub it with salt. You cannot just uh, sprinkle salt all over really it. Really rub it in. You have to rub it in so that it starts uh, the, uh, the uh, what is it, the osmosis process that, that the salt penetrates, forms a brine and it pulls out the moisture that's in the mm -hmm. in the, in the as hand. it pulls moisture out, it's also pulling out un unfavorable bacteria, right? It's cleansing no, it? No, well, that, uh, not supposed to be any unfavorable bacteria. Okay. Well, bacteria because can't it's survive in the presence of salt, right? Right. So it's, it's extracting the moisture and, it, and it's flavoring? It, and meat? it's flavoring. Okay. And then what? And then, uh, and then uh, they, uh, it's resalted again after so many, so many days of salting. Mm -hmm. Then you have to hang it and let it dry. How long does it age? Prosciutto, we age it seven months. The minimum seven months. Some of them are aged eight months, some of a, a year. Depends on the size. Also, okay. like the salami. The, and, then, um, and then after that, it's... Um, Boned out, mm -hmm. deboned because most of the people now that own uh, supermarket or the butchers they don't uh, they're not too familiar of boning a, right. a dry ham. You right. know, they know how to bone a fresh ham, but not a dry ham is very hard because but, yes. because uh, the meat is very solid. Right. Right. And then they slice it very thin in the store and. Uh, you, you have to slice serve for sure. All of these all of these meats that are cured. You have to yes. You have to slice, slice it. Thin. So that's pretty much it. Then that's that's how we do the prosciutto. That's how we do the prosciutto. Now we we uh, we do bone out the prosciutto. We shape it and then we slice it, mm -hmm. and we sell it in three ounce packages already sliced. Which is wonderful, by the way, yes. because it's it's easy for me to pick up. And you're right; it's not something you sit down and eat a pound of, but it's something you might accent with or enjoy a few slices of it. You don't need it a large. You don't need it right, exactly. Right. And if I can't make it down here then I can pick it up very conveniently when I'm out doing my regular shopping. Sure. So I think that was a great idea to, to do it like that. I still think I can serve up a pound of prosciutto easily at my casa in the evening. <laughs> um, I got one last thing. Can you do this? Here you go. Mwah. That's Italian. <laughs> Just one. <Mwah. laughs> That's Italian. Thank you so much.